All right, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. A bow of respect, as he often and always does. Anderson Silva is the underdog tonight, the former UFC champion. If this is his last foray into the UFC octagon, his next stop is surely the UFC Hall of Fame. Right. Plus 200 as an underdog tonight against Uriah Hall, who's in the black, minus 240 as the favorite. Five possible rounds at middleweight. Lately, we've seen Anderson really take his time, try and see what his opponents give him. But that has resulted in a couple of losses lately. So Anderson, you know, I'd like to see him be more active. If this is going to be his last fight, which he says... It more than likely is. He's been a little elusive. You'd think that he wants to go out giving his best. So that makes him very dangerous. Of course, Uriah Hall's a smart guy. He knows that. So both guys, they got to be really careful because they're so fast and so explosive. First action in nearly a year and a half for Anderson Silva, who last fought at UFC 237 in Rio de Janeiro against Jared Cannonier. May of 2019 for Uriah Hall. He's had a layoff of over a year, not of his doing. He was supposed to fight Jacare Souza in Jacksonville. That didn't happen. He was supposed to fight Yoel Romero this past summer. That got pushed back. So here he is, and clearly the UFC wants to see him against top flight competition with those names that he was matched up against. You see here, Uriah's taking his time. I'm sure you guys address this mentally, but one of the things that he'll have to watch is that, of course, Anderson has been a hero, an inspiration, a legend in the Oxygen that he has watched for so long. And sometimes when you get in there, you can give them too much respect. Of course, he said he worked on the mental side. He's got an excellent coach in safe side, so I'm sure they have addressed that. But still, two minutes in, neither guy yet to commit to a strike. But this is typical for Anderson. Right. He does this in a lot of his fights. Doesn't mean there's not going to be action. You see him kind of warming up a bit here. Loosening up. Hall sees the kick come and blocks it. Two minutes gone. Yeah, Hall checked that one as well. And Uriah told us that you have to be careful against a fighter like Anderson Silva. Not only, like you mentioned, the pressure of actually looking in the face, a guy that you watched on your way up, but also he does certain things. He flows so easily, does Silva, that you're kind of tricked into thinking you can do it too, you know, and you have to really kind of stay present, stay within your game plan. Silva swings big and starts aggressing forward. Yeah, that's the first connection of the fight. Good left hand there, and then an oblique kick to the lead leg of Uriah. Side leg kick for Hall. Oh, Body look shot at that. and nice a left work. cross from Silva. Now these guys are starting to get loose. Dips and throws a big left to Silva. Yeah, he really put everything into that one. I think Uriah. I don't know, he doesn't look too comfortable right now. Wow, nice counter left jab there from Hall as he tries to weather the early storm here. Anderson is a master of pressure. When he comes forward, he swarms, he creates chaos. His arms flail everywhere. You don't know where the shots are going to come from. It could be a head kick. It could be a weird angle punch. It could be a flying knee. And when he comes at you like that, trust me, it's terrifying. Spoken from a man who knows what it's like to go five rounds with Anderson Silva, one of the all-time great fights. All right, slow down in the action here after Silva was staying busy. Significant strikes in favor of Silva, who's back on the attack. Oh, look at that. Spin kick to the thigh. Heel right in the thigh. That'll hurt. Coming up on one minute to go. Again, five full rounds here between these middleweights. Uriah has to establish himself in this fight. He has to let Silva know that this is a 50-50 battle, that he's here, that he's capable of knocking him out, capable of finishing, that he deserves respect, because right now Uriah's kind of just reacting. There is a nice job, right as I say that, and oh. another one, that's good. He has landed the counter jab with his left hand several times.
And when these guys are throwing their landing. Nice three punch, punching charge there. Two of those landed. Hall connecting at more than a 70% clip so far. But Silva, the busier fighter, and he's landing at 60%. Another heavy flurry here as we enter the final seconds of round one. I'm going to say Anderson looks good. Still. Good job. Sit down. Beautiful. Breathe and relax. Have some water. I got you. Get down, buddy. Get down. All right, listen to me. Take some deep breaths, okay? You see everything he's doing, right? Yeah. And you're sliding out of the way, okay? Right. But the problem is, when you don't go, he's gonna go. He's gonna go. And then you're just gonna have to keep defending. Okay. I need you to go forward. I need you to hit him with a jab. Every time you hit him, he's just gonna move his head around. So you gotta put your punches together and you gotta slide out to the left, okay? Don't back straight up in a straight line. He's gonna set up the head kick. He's gonna set up the straight two. Everything he does is here. Okay. Right? You did a good job. You kept sliding out and he didn't touch you. You got his timing down. You're way faster than him. You just need, some to, just need to let it go. Here. Oh, take work. your time. Let it go. Right. Right. You don't let it go. Let it go. The message from Safe Saud. That has been something that has held Uriah Hall back in the past. Yeah, and that was just tremendous corner work. I gotta say, I agreed with everything he said. Clear, concise instructions. Don't go back in a straight line. You've gotta be first. He's gotta lead the dance because he is reacting to what Anderson's doing in that first round. And he was going back in a straight line. And Anderson will chase you, he'll go forward. And just when you think the attack is over, you'll get hit with the unexpected. Safe Saud in the corner of Hall saying, or believing that Hall is the faster fighter and seeing the attacks. I'd give the first round to Anderson. He was the busier guy, more aggressive. He landed more shots. You know, it's as simple as that. But four more rounds left. And it wasn't, you know, a crushing round, far from it. You know, he edged him in points in that round. I don't think he did any damage. Possibly psychologically, you know, I mean, he definitely backed him up on occasion. And Anderson, more importantly, let Uriah know, hey, this is this narrative that I'm old. I've still got it, buddy. You know, give me my respect. Of course, all-time great status has been a talking point. Habib, 29-0 after what he did last week. Anderson Silva on center stage tonight. John Jones has had his say if you tune in on social media. Hall trying to get a little busier here. And Silva just circling now. Uriah's got to—he's got to believe in himself. You can see he's hesitating a little bit. He's biting on every movement of Anderson. That's a nice job, though, from Uriah. He's got to follow that up. One shot is not enough. Time called. Is there some tape loose on the glove? I think of Uriah Hall, so they'll get huh? some assistance in. About your, your rap. Here, host, no coaching right now, please. It's time out. Yeah, I think there was just some loose tape on the glove there. So Dean sees it. And Silva kind of called it out. Back underway, round two. Right back to work. Silva fires a quick one, too. Yeah, so as I was just saying, Uriah's got to put combinations together. You know, Anderson, he built a career on pot shots, on one shots, on single strike knockouts. Uriah has to, as I said, put pressure on three, four punch or kick combinations. And the, the first one may be blocked. The second or third will not. Oh, look at Silva, one of a kind. Yeah, but that's pure misdirection. Right. Look at this, look at this shiny thing over here. Bang, I kick you in the face. Silva around the outside. And Hall kind of letting him just dance out there. Not forcing the action. Good. 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 Good.
Hall showing a little fancy footwork there. Uriah Hall has landed more than 60% of the strikes he's thrown. He's only thrown 31 strikes. Yeah, I was going to say the problem is he needs to throw more. Like kicks from Silva. But when Hall's at his best, I mean, his highlight reel is not TKOs full of, uh, no. full of punch combinations and that sort of thing, man. He could shut the lights out in the blink of an eye. And that lead jab is money. You know, it's a great shot. He's got the reach advantage as well, and it's a very, very nice, snappy, fast jab. Problem is, he's got to follow it up. He's got to put a right hand on the end of it, make it a one-two, make it a one-two head kick. He needs to put Anderson under pressure. That's how you beat Anderson. You put him on the back foot. You do not let Anderson lead the dance. That's how we built his career. He psychologically intimidates his opponents. He makes you freeze, and then he picks you apart. You have to put that out of the window. You have to not be afraid, and you have to go forward. You have to put him under pressure. Oh, nice kick. Uriah Hall has started slow in the past. He's won three of his last four fights, two of them by knockout, and in both of those knockouts, he started slow. Ended Bevon Lewis's night with a third round, just thundering punch. And Christoph Jotko in the second round after a slow first five minutes. And in each of those fights, he only had 15 minutes with which to work. Still got a full three rounds if needed after this round number two. 15 seconds left. And this one, a tough round to score, I would yeah. say, Michael. Tough round to score, a lot of circling from Anderson, but again, I'd be inclined to think Anderson's round. And fight. Underway for round number three. Similar instructions on both sides. They want their fighter to go first, they want him to stay busy. Yeah, so far it's been kind of a points match, tit for tat, who's faster, who can land the one shot. Safe side, calling for the double jab right hand, head kick from Uriah Hall. Similar instructions in Anderson's corner as well. Silva spent a lot of that second round, as you mentioned, Michael, circling around the outside. Now he's putting the aggression on once again, as he did in round one. Creative striking, as you would expect. Bit of an eye poke, possibly. All good, no damage. Oh. Thought that was going to go high, went to the body. Anderson's making it hard for Uriah. The, the fact that he's circling constantly like that, you know, it, it, it's, it makes it difficult for Uriah to launch an attack. But as he's, as he's circling him like that, Uriah has to cut the cage off. If he's going to the left, Uriah has to go to the left and meet him, stop him from circling, force him back. I'm telling you, the way to beat Anderson is to put him on his back foot. But as you're doing that, you've got to be throwing strikes. You can't put him on his back foot by throwing a jab every now and again. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that because often that is the case, right? When you see guys following or, or allowing their opponent to circle, it's as simple as move with them and cut off the, the, exactly. the octagon. Exactly, just cut off the octagon. Now they're getting a little busier. Good low kick for Silva. Busy with that right leg before he throws a combination up top. Hall skips a little bit to reset. Three minutes to go in round three. And now Hall will do the advancing once again. A lot of hand fighting here. Is, are they waiting to counter? There's a stiff jab from Hall. Hall skips back. Both guys are going to be more active, you know, because they are very, very close rounds. And neither guy can be confident that the judges are giving it to them. Of course, Anderson, if this is the last time, he wants to go out on a win. Uriah Hall, this is his legendary opponent. This is his icon. This will be the biggest win on his resume. You know, so again, you've got to go for it, okay? There's a feeling out process. That's good. But now it's that's out the window. We're past that phase. Now we should be deep in battle. Nice axe kick. And Uriah Hall has thoughts on 
not just contending and, and getting in the mix at middleweight. He believes he fully has what it takes to just be a couple of wins away from challenging for that middleweight title. Speaking of Israel Adesanya, yep. he's in the building tonight. Yeah, Uriah was uh, saying this week that Izzy has handpicked easy opponents, of course. Oh, stiff jab from Silva. Adesanya's uh, very fast and quick-witted, so he had a good comeback, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, that was fast by Silva. Yeah, the jab is starting to work from Silva, and now each of them goes to the body kick. Yeah, really nice snap kick there. Those hurt. There's finally a right hand from Uriah. Oh, oh. That, that was a punch. Yeah, heard Dean right there to say that was a punch. Knuckle in the eye again. As another reminder, the referee can use replay at any point throughout the fight. Yep. Here in Las Vegas, that's a new rule change they've instituted here tonight. Haven't had to use it yet. Silva dips and yeah, throws Silva. the lead uppercut and then connects with the right. Silva's showing some now. He's going to try and get the tie clinch. First time in close quarters. Oh! Fight and a heavy foot stomp from the spider. There's Marco who was foot stomps. <laughs> and fighting in the clinch right now as we approach 30 seconds to go. Combination up top from Uriah Hall as he breaks free. And now gets busier. That's it, that's better. He's, he's letting the right hand go now. And Uriah starting to find the hole. Oh, I think that was a lead elbow there from Silva, though, as action gets frantic here. Final 10 seconds around that's three. It. That's much better Oh, he Uriah. knocks him down. Hall has Silva yeah. down. Can he end it before the bell? Oh, Big shots on the shots, ground. Heavy shots. Seen standing by. Oh. And they will see a round four. Man. Biggest action of the fight for each fighter, but Uriah Hall getting the better of it. Biggest moment thus far. So they're engaging, both guys throwing here. A little left and a right hand over the top, puts him down, nice punch. And then from there, all over him. Take another look. Bang, there it is. Just a little right hook, a little short chopping shot. Uriah, we should see a different mentality from him here. He knows he can hurt him. The feeling out process is gone. They're in round four. And listen, if he had another minute, that could have been the end of the fight. Yeah, I mean, another, I was gonna say another five to 10 seconds Possibly. probably, right? Possibly. But uh, the horn fight. sounded, and we are into the main event rounds. Round number four here. After the biggest moment in the fight, Silva starts it off with a left cross. And we'll see how urgent Uriah Hall is after that knockdown and late flurry. <laughs> Silva appears to have cleared the cobwebs. Firing back, nice left counter jab from Hall. Yeah, we saw there in round three, of course. Anderson winning that round, and then he gets dropped at the end. And I hate to bring up, you know, I hate to inject myself into it, Brendan, but when I fought Anderson, it was the reverse role. I was, I was dominating that round, and he dropped me with a beautiful flying knee. But I came back and won round four. The point I'm making is, just because he was hurt, just because he was injured, and it looked like it was the close to the end of the fight, you can still rebound from that, and a guy like Anderson Silva. Oh, oh another right hand from Hall. Silva's down again in survival that. mode. Nice work by Uriah Hall. They're good shots. Big He's right hands. Got to be close to the end. That's Prime it. time. Uriah Hall with the fourth round stoppage of the legend Anderson Silva. And perhaps there's a new contender in the top 10 of the UFC's middleweight division. There it is. Anderson comes in. That was sloppy work by Anderson, if I'm honest. Left himself wide open, got far too over-aggressive. Uriah capitalized, hit him with a nice shot. As we see here, Herb Dean is watching very closely. They're getting through, they're connecting, they're doing damage, and Herb's like, no, that's it, that's enough. But look at that. Anderson left himself wide open, wide open, chin up in the air, arms flailing about. Good for Uriah Hall, though, fantastic. 
to make it official, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, 